So you're a trustee? Yes, sir. What is uh what do you do around here? Sweep, mop, change trash, anything that should be done, clean up the sales. How long have you been locked up? About three months. How much time you got left? I'm just waiting on a new trial, being indicted by the grand jury. So you got some pretty serious charges? Burglary. You're facing seven years. With you being here, I mean, does it make you think about the things that you were doing, obviously, out there, things that you may regret? Absolutely. What do you think the one thing that you regret the most is? Doing drugs. So it was drugs that led to the problems that you had? Crystal man. How old are you? 26. And drugs had been a problem for you throughout your life? Yeah, I was addicted to pain pills for eight years and went to rehab, got clean, stayed clean for four or five months. And he got on crystal man for about a year. What do you think is your biggest issue getting back out there into the free world? What's the one thing that brings you back to the drugs? Same crowd, change of people. If I With, go back to the same area, you know, chances are I can go back to using again. Do you feel like you've got a pretty decent chance going back to court, or are you prepared in your mind that you could potentially be going to prison? Oh uh, yeah, but uh, you know, I'm probably going to get drug court out of it, which is a five-year program. You know, to keep you out of prison. And you want to make the changes in your life to try to do better? Absolutely. What do you think your chances are getting back out there, not getting back involved with drugs? Do you think you got a good chance of not doing that? Yeah, probably an 80% chance, you know. That you'll do the right thing this time? Have you been locked up multiple times in your life? I've been locked up here about six or seven times. Do you get tired of it? Always say you're gonna change, but you know, go back into your old routine. Things just fall right back into play. So the sheriff of this small town, Tylertown, Mississippi, has been kind enough to allow us to tour his jail. Visitation room. So this is the visitation area right here. Can we go look over sure. here? Sure. So when a, a prisoner is housed here and they have a visit. This is where they would come, or this is where their family would come? This is where the family would come. So the family would come in just like this. Correct. And they would sit right here. Correct. And on the other side of these windows is where the prisoners would come out and meet with their family. Correct. No contact, but they do get a 15 minute visit where they can speak with each 15 other. 15 minutes? Yes. That's short, huh? That's common. Really? That's common. What about the intake area for new prisoners arriving? That would be in here, in the booking room. They would come through this door here. We we'll keep this secured. They would take their picture right here. Correct. Baby, will you stand right there just to give an idea of what this would be like? I'm not very tall. But this would be your booking picture right here. We do have a holding cell here. This is what a holding cell would look like when they process. They would step in here. It's cold in here. We've got some food left over right here. I guess if somebody was sitting in here, probably had a lunch or dinner in here. Super cold in here. You can just imagine being locked in here, awaiting whatever you're in here for. Let's take a look at the toilet right here. what you have. This is it. You got your sink right here. And that's what it would sound like if that door was to be shut behind you. This is a padded room. You take the inmates on themselves. Generally suicidal. They go to the padded room. That's the toilet. Right there. We've got the camera right there that would be watching you 24 seven. If you were to end up in a room like this because you were a danger or a threat to yourself, possibly anyone else, all it would take is somebody saying that you were gonna hurt yourself, whether it was your family, whether it was another prisoner. And that's what you would have to look out of. A big window right here where they could see you. A big window right here looks right over into an office. And also that camera right there. You can see it looks like a prisoner has thrown 
toilet paper on that vent trying to cover that up because you can imagine while sitting in this room you're going to be virtually if not completely naked and it's going to get cold in here They would go to Rankin County, CMC, get processed there. They either serve their time there or be transported to another prison. Okay. Do you, do you see prisoners who are housed in this facility oftentimes get sent to these other facilities, yes. including prison? Yes. They'll stay here till they lead all the way to the court. And then if they're sentenced, they take a month or two for the paperwork to go through, get them a bed, then they'll be sent to Rankin County, Central Mississippi Criminal Fix Facility, CMCF. They'll house them there for a period of time. They'll either do their time there or they'll be sent to a prison for the long term. Do you see a lot of prisoners end up in this padded room? Is this room used often? This particular jail is not used often. Uh, we did just take one out that claimed he was suicidal, so it's our job to protect the inmates from themselves as well as other prisoners. So we would put them in there and determine if they were serious enough to keep them housed in the location. For their own protection? Sure. Absolutely. Sure. You don't want them cutting themselves, beating their head on the wall, hurting themselves in any way. So it's our job to protect them. Have you seen prisoners go into this room and begin to do things like that? Continue to be a threat to themselves, possibly by beating their heads on the door or the walls or anything like that? Not necessarily. I've seen it in other facilities. Well, there, there are people that come in jail that have actual mental problems. Oh, yes, of course. So, uh, I have seen people be out in themselves <laughs> in another facility. Uh, this is just uh, <laughs> just a little storage. Yeah. This is another storage. I don't think it's good this amount. This is it. Why don't be on A and E? That's where we hope to get it to, but it's on YouTube for right now. Dress, dress them out, give them that, I got that store one. their property. Who is that? So this would be the prisoner's property who yeah. come into the jail. You can see some shoes right here all of their other belongings would be stored in these bags and when they come into the jail this property would be exchanged for this property right here they wear orange jumpsuits whether it's a is it a one piece one piece jumpsuits we've got towels and whites here i see some boxers This is some of the supplies that each inmate will be issued. Small toothbrush and toothpaste. Small bar of soap. A roll of tissue. And here's the jail issued mat right here. Nothing comfortable about this at all. But when you come to a place like this, this is exactly what you can expect. <laughs> hey, how you doing, world? Um, Pleasure to meet you. I'm trying to get on TV. So what is your name, ma'am? My name is Markeisha. And what do you do here? I'm a jailer. Do you enjoy what you do? Yes, I really do. Do you deal with guys that tend to behave, or do you see a lot of problems here? They behave a lot. What do you see the most common occurrence of why comes individuals come here do you think it's because of drugs do you think it's other problems we have more of the drug related inmates rather than um any other so so drugs are definitely an issue right. in this community right do you feel that individuals who come here realize they've made mistakes and possibly want to change their lives or do you see a lot of guys just get out and come right back get out and come right back really Thank you for your time. You too. It's a pleasure to meet you again. I'm going on Amy. So what are we looking at here? 
<clears throat> so we can't show any prisoners, but we're standing in front of another cell right here. This looks to be uh, a, holding cell. a holding cell. The guy inside of here, he's asleep right now. I don't want to disturb him. So this would be considered the isolation unit of this facility. Correct. So if you were in this jail causing problems, this is where you would end up. This is the isolation unit of this facility. We're stepping out of the single man cells right here. This looks to be like, so this would be the day room. This would be where they would come. How long would they get to be out here if they were locked in this area? Maybe an hour a day? Uh, depending who we have in here. If it's just one, they would have the whole facility. If it's more than one, we, we would uh, let them come out and meet separate. If we feel like one's correct to the other, if not, they both come out and meet together. The shop facility here, and I never sell on the end. So it would be here where you would be taking a shower. And you can see right here, you just push that button, that water stays on for as long as it will. But there's no hot and cold water here. So depending upon what the temperature of this water is, it could be freezing, it could be hot. That's what you're getting right there. And this doesn't look like the, the nicest area to be taking a shower. But if you were here, this is what it would be. Absolutely unbelievable being in here. Just an unbelievable feeling. We're gonna walk out of this isolation cell block right now. This is the control room. This officer handles. How you doing, sir? Uh the control of the doors. Here's a monitor, monitor the inmate activity. And then over here, what I'm looking at back here would just be the housing units of this facility. Yes. This, this jail, how many prisoners can it hold? Uh, roughly 50. And how many prisoners are here now? Roughly 20. So it's about, about a little less than half full. Yes. The guys that you have housed here, are these short-term prisoners or these prisoners who are still awaiting court and could potentially be facing a lot of time? Right, the majority here are uh, felony prisoners, felony charges. Some has been sentenced, waiting to be transferred. Others are still uh, in the court process. I'm looking into the housing units here and it, it, these are open dorm housing units. With these prisoners here, I'm sure there's a routine that takes place every single day. Breakfast is served at a certain time. There's a count that takes place. Do they ever get a chance to come out of these housing units at all, potentially for any rec? Or is, does everything just take place inside of the housing units? No. We take them on the yard every day, seven days a week. They, uh, they get time on the yard every day. We take them out in pods at a time. These are state inmates, and this would be city and county, which the number is small right now. Again, most of them are state inmates. Are these prisoners afforded the opportunity to order commissary or canteen? Yes. Once a week, Monday morning, the uh, canteen sheets are sent in. On Wednesday, it gets here. And what about the meals uh, served here? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yes, they get three meals a day, three hot meals. Uh, we have a contract with a facility, local facility in town, that delivers the meals. Wow. So they have three hot meals a day. Wow. It's not, it's 
not fun when you know all your buddies are out enjoying life, enjoying freedom. When you locked up on the Absolutely not. So it is a rough way to go. It's definitely a place you don't want to come to and have your freedom taken away from you. Even if it's for a day. A lot of times it's much longer because of the crime that uh, inmates have committed. So these are all the other dorms. We also house in state inmates over here. So how many cell blocks are in this facility? We have two more cell blocks and we have the holding cell that we went in and uh, we have the brother room. We have the female cell on the other side of the jail which we are not using at this time. We're housing our females in another facility. So this is only males? Only males at this time, yes sir. Very crazy. That yard? That door leads to the rec yard if you want to view that. Absolutely. So we're walking past the cell blocks right now. We can't show the prisoners, but all of the prisoners who were housed here were standing at the window. They're very interested to know what we're doing here. Check the yard to be your right. And now we've just walked outside past the cell blocks. You can see the razor wire right here. Everywhere you look in a facility like this, it's gonna be a constant reminder of where you are. And this right here is the rec yard. Not much to it. But when you're locked up in a facility like this, locked up all day long this little bit of freedom that you can get just out on a place like this a concrete slab that's going to mean a lot to you being able to breathe fresh air having a moment to not have to breathe that stagnant air that you'll be breathing while in one of these cell blocks how long do the prisoners get out on the rec yard per day uh, 30 minutes to an hour depending on the weather conditions and what do you see these prisoners out here doing? Are they working out? Are they just walking around? Uh, basically, they just walking around, uh, looking at the sky, being real thankful to be out for just a little space of time. Now, if they misbehave, if they do something that they're not supposed to do, there's a good possibility they're not gonna be coming outside, correct? Sure, we have rules and uh, regulations that they have to adhere to. And uh, if they break those rules depending on how egregious they are. They may have some disciplinary action, uh, which may be limited yard call. It's the little things that will mean the most to you when you're in a situation like this. Wreck, very important to guys, and could be a major reason why you want to follow the rules while you're here. Those canteen visitation, just depending. We have cameras all throughout the facility, monitoring the inmates at all times. Again, protecting them from themselves and from other inmates. So are there cameras inside of the cell blocks as well? Yes, absolutely. And that's the control room we just came out of. That's his job to monitor all cell blocks and the activity of the inmates while they're out of here. Those uh, there's showers in there, they all phone, pay phones on the wall. They set up an account and they could use the phones. Very interesting. How y'all doing? Is there a kitchen here? Or I, I know you said that the food comes from an outside vendor. So they wouldn't have a kitchen here at all? That's correct, that's accurate. There are trustees in this jail though, correct? Yes, we have two trustees that help keep the jail clean, sweet, mom, uh, get the garbage kept, picked out, and try to keep it as clean as possible. What, are there any benefits for the trustees? Anything that they get that maybe another prisoner might not be able to get? Uh, absolutely. If you can be trusted, Trusty you get to come up front here, and there's just a little bit more freedom 
where you can walk around and if you like to work, that's great. I'm flying back to Virginia with them. I'm going to do documentary. So you're a trustee? Yes, sir. What is uh? What do you do around here? Sweet mom, change trash, anything that needs to be done. Clean up the cells. How long have you been locked up? About three months. How much time you got left? I'm just waiting on the trial, being indicted by the grand jury. So you got some pretty serious charges? Burglary. You're facing? Seven years. With you being here, I mean, does it make you think about the things that you were doing, obviously, out there, things that you may regret? Absolutely. What do you think the one thing that you regret the most is? Doing drugs. So it was drugs that led to the problems that you had? Crystal man. How old are you? 26. And drugs had been a problem for you throughout your life? Yeah, I was addicted to pain pills for eight years and went to rehab, got clean, stayed clean for four or five months, and then got on crystal meth for about a year. What do you think is your biggest issue getting back out there into the free world? What's the one thing that brings you back to the drugs? It's the same crowd, you have to change your people, playground. You think? If I go with, back to the same area, you know, chances are you'll go back to using again. Do you feel like you've got a pretty decent chance going back to court, or are you prepared in your mind that you could potentially be going to prison? Oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm probably going to get drug court out of it, which is a five-year program, you know, that keeps you out of prison. And you want to make the changes in your life to try to do better? Absolutely. What do you think your chances are getting back out there not getting back involved with drugs, do you think you got a good chance of not doing that? Yeah, probably an 80% chance, you know. That you'll do the right thing this time? Have you been locked up multiple times in your life? I have. I've been locked up here about six or seven times. Do you get tired of it? Absolutely. I always say you're going to change, but you know, you go back into your own routine, things just fall right back into place. If you go back over, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So I know if I go back out there and do the same thing over again, I mean, eventually, it may be a year or two, I'll end up right back here. But you realize that now and realize that you have to make those changes for things to end up different in your life. Absolutely. Man, I really appreciate your time, man. No Wish doubt. you the best of luck. I appreciate it, bro. Sir, greatly appreciate your time as well. Thank you so much for allowing us to tour your facility. You're mighty welcome. You don't want to come here. Remember that. You don't want to come here. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck, ma'am. Thank you so much. Oh, you too. I want to be on A&E. I do too, so hopefully we can make that happen together.